We're here to talk about body dysmorphic disorder and other issues that are related to the use of Zoom during this pandemic and people looking at themselves more regularly. Can you tell us, you know, what are you seeing in a, in a clinical setting and what are you hearing now in this very different environment? So first of all, body dysmorphic disorder is at the severe end of appearance concern. So people with body dysmorphic disorder are preoccupied with the perceived flaw in appearance. So in other words, they're worried about something that others cannot see, or they're just excessively worried about a small flaw, like a, like a pimple or a mole or a scar. For them, when they are on the Zoom call, this is even more stressful than it would be for most of us. I think for most of us, it's a little unsettling to look at ourselves for, for at this point. For people with body dysmorphic disorder, we have heard that they often just kind of keep staring at their perceived flaw. They keep staring at that pimple and they keep looking at it uh, often for really extended per periods of time and then when they do that it starts to appear really obvious and huge to them which then in turn of course causes even uh, more distress. It would classify as a mental disorder at the point where it causes extreme distress and impairment. So people with body dysmorphic disorder often think about their appearance for very long periods of time, often for hours a day. Is this being reported as being more common now with the, the use of a, a Zoom, for example? I can tell you in our clinical practice, it comes up all the time. So patients will repeatedly say that the Zoom calls are incredibly hard for them. So very often they find ways to just keep the camera off during the Zoom calls or they arrange their lighting in such a way so it's really dim. You know, I just show the good side of my face so they only show a particular angle. Whatever they're worried about is just not as noticeable to others. So it, it's really stressful for people with body dysmorphic disorder to be on these Zoom calls for sure. Practicing self-kindness and self-compassion, right? And not judge ourselves so harshly. It's so common for us to be nice to others, right? I mean, we, we can be kind and forgiving of the flaws of our friends because deep down inside, I think we all recognize that we're all a little flawed, right? That's, that's just part of being human. That's, you know, that's what makes us human. It's normal. And yet, when it comes to ourselves, I think we all are often a little too harsh and we would all benefit from a little bit more self-kindness. And the way I teach this to my patients is I say, look, what would you say to a friend in that particular situation, right? Um, and that often brings out that kindness that people have for others and that way they can learn to turn it towards themselves. Are you seeing an uptick in other disorders as well? We had COVID-19, so we had to deal with the, the pandemic. And shortly thereafter, we saw a surge in mental health concerns. So we have been so busy just helping people with anxiety, with depression, and other disorders as well. So this is, this is a stressful time for everyone. And then especially for people who have a tendency to be more anxious or depressed.